Today I'm going to show you my life patch for the Mower G200. Currently I'm preparing for a live event that will hopefully um, yeah, take place next year again after maybe the pandemic is, uh, is over. And um, of course we don't know when that will be the case. But anyway, I'm now um, preparing some live patches on my uh, modeling units. And today I created a patch on the um, Mole GE200, which I would like to um, share with you because I thought it sounded kick ass through my uh, wedges there at the uh, RCF 310s uh, FRFR floor monitors. And um, it's a high gain patch, of course. And um, yeah, I opened the editor here, and um, as you can hear, this is the sound. It's the um, it's the lead sound, and. Um, in this patch, I'm um, using the expression pedal to go from a uh, rhythm tone without effects, like that, to a lead tone, the same sound, but with a little bit of delay, reverb, and uh, yeah, of course, a little bit of a volume. And um, yeah, I will show you what I'm using and um, Maybe you can, um, yeah, try out this patch or replicate it. Of course, um, the thing with the live patches is um, they sound a little bit dark if you're playing through studio monitors, because uh, if you play at loud volumes, um, the uh, higher frequencies get annoying through these, uh, well, uh, high frequency drivers in the floor monitors. So usually I dial in the uh, the live tones a little bit, uh, a little bit darker. And also, um, I don't use that much space because, um, yeah, especially if you're using floor monitors, um, you got um, if you put them on the on the on the floor, then you get a uh, lot of bass response, and um, that is not always helpful in a live situation. So anyway, here is my patch, and as you can see here, the effect chain starts with an uh, overdrive. I'm using the uh, Tube Screamer 808. Again, zero level and not at max, but at uh, 69, because 69 is a great number. Any uh, application. And, uh, well, tone at 26, because um, this Holly Bent Fusion HSH guitar, for which the patch is designed, has a Roswell humbuckers. They are a little bit bright, so I dial back the tone here. You can play around with that and adjust this block to your guitar. By the way, uh, in the system, I set the input level to, uh, to 0 dB, so I didn't do anything here. Nothing fancy. And yeah, the amp is the P Savage C4. Whatever C4 is, I don't know, it's uh, P stands for preamp, and it's a uh, I think it's the Angle Savage 120, the preamp from that amp, I got it back there, you can see it. And um, this amp is uh, has a uh, great sound, I think. It's a little bit unique um, because it doesn't have these, um, these upper mid-range punch like you get from a Marshall or also from a 6505, like uh, these things. And I found out that this upper mid-range around the 2K is sometimes a little bit um, annoying in a live situation, especially when you're playing lead. And um, usually I dial that out a little bit. You should not go that much down with these frequencies because then you will get lost in the mix. But um, I chose an amp here, which doesn't have these uh, overpronounced uh, higher mids. And I... Um, I like the, the model here. By the way, this amp is not stock in the um, 
in the mole G200 you can get it um, from the mower uh, from the mower uh, website you can download it they have these um, I think they're these new models they're captured with another mower unit maybe the G300 and you can uh, import them you go to the amp block here you go down as you can see you have these slots where you can import them there are a couple of more you will find on the more homepage. So if you want more, then you get more. Anyway, these are my settings. Everything in the middle here, around uh, 50. And the uh, master is at 15. And as you can see, um, or you cannot see, but now I will. Um, now the um, the expression pedal is down. If I pull it up, then it will go to 23. And that is my volume boost here, which uh, goes from rhythm to lead. You can assign this with the merge function in the mower. You cannot do this here in the editor, or at least I don't know how to do it. But as you can see here, the expression says merge, and you can dial that in. Anyway, so it's a volume boost. And the next thing is noise gate, noise killer. Just set it to 26, nothing fancy. And then we come to the cap uh, section, and the cap section is also an imported cap, which you can get from the Mower uh, website. It's the GC1 by 12 U87 83, and they got a couple of uh, IRs there on the um, on their website. They go from A1 to A5, and A5 is the darkest, and A1 is the brightest. And also they have a B1, B5, didn't import them all because I don't have enough slots but um, I like the A3 in this, um, especially with my uh, with my floor monitors. So this is uh, the cap section, no um, power tubes. And the equalizer is just, uh, I reduced the, uh, the 80 hertz a little bit and also the 6.6 gate. <coughs> And this is um, also something um, which I'm changing with the expression pedal. So um, in the rhythm, um, in the rhythms. So when the expression pedal is down, I have this sound and reduce the 6.6k um, about 2 dB. And in the lead, uh, I reduce a little bit more to get rid of the harshness and get a more round. A little bit more of a round sound. And uh, my floor models, they have uh, 10 inch speakers. So, um, with 10 inch speakers, they are very mid focus sounding. They don't have too much bass. Um, I think uh, this together sounds really, uh, very well rounded. If you are using 12 inch speakers in the floor models, you, maybe you will have a little bit more bass response. Then I'd recommend to play around here and dial out the 80 hertz a little bit more, more. Okay, the next thing is the delay block. As you can see, I'm using a tape delay, and you could hear um, already my uh, my lead sound. It's applied. You can see, it uh, the level set about 18, feedback 14, and the time is fixed as uh, at. 493 milliseconds because I found out 492 is not enough and 494 is too much and um, also here um, as you can see or no I'm going back to the rhythm section and then you can see the level is going down so this is the third value I'm uh, controlling with the expression panel from uh, rhythm to lead and um, usually um, when playing at home, I use a little bit of reverb, so it's, it's turned on here, but as you can see, the level is set to zero. I'm not quite sure um, if I will raise it also for the lead um, in, with the expression, but still I didn't do it. So this block does, does nothing at the moment. 
But I will play around with that when I will rehearse and um, maybe I will raise it a little bit. The thing with the reverb is um, it's uh, usually it's not that helpful, especially if you um, create reflections in the higher frequencies. But if you create um, dark reflections in the low frequencies or in the low mid, so to speak, then it helps to um, to soften the sound a little bit in some uh, application. So sometimes I play around with that. But usually I cut off the high uh, high reflection, so and the more um, I set the tone to zero. And well, we could try, or well, we can see what it does if I'm going to my lead sound. And if you, oh, it's already applied. Okay, as you can see, um, it's also setting to 14. But as I said, I'm not sure if I will leave it at that or I will use it. So... But um, I was playing at very loud volumes so there's uh, two monitors and it sound kick ass so I had to share this uh, patch with you. And um, yeah. I think the G200, especially with the new amp models and the new um, IRs, which are provided by more, sounds really kick-ass. The only thing um, with the cheap models that, it, in my opinion, um, it's uh, well, it, you, you only get with the high-end models is that you get the more dynamics, and also in the in the top end, sometimes the cheap models they seem to have problems. Um, but um, as you can see here, or as you could hear, I dialed in quite a mid focus sound, and um, with that sound, I was playing uh, about one hour at very loud volume, but still my ears are uh, comfortable. It didn't ring or didn't hurt my ears, and it was also uh, fitting in the mix with. Um, I was practicing to back backing tracks, and uh, yeah, it worked really well. So. I recommend to try these settings out and uh, yeah, please post your comments below. Have a great time and I hope to see you soon. Bye!